Hi, I'm Margaret Rogerson. I'm the author of Sorcery of Thorns, Vespertine, and An Enchantment of Ravens. Hi, I'm Samantha Shannon. I'm the author of the Bone Season series and the Priory of the Orange Tree. And I am going to play a game of Would You Rather? That's a really tough question because I feel like I would go mad if I lost my imagination. But if I lost my writing skills, I also couldn't be part of other people's imagination. So I think I would keep my writing skills so I could at least still be telling myself stories, but I would definitely not be very happy if I lost either. I would rather lose my writing skills because I couldn't write without my imagination. So if I lost my imagination and my writing skills, I would lose both. I like anti-heroes better in fiction, but I think I would rather be a hero. I'm not sure if I'd rather be a hero or an anti-hero. I guess it would depend what I was doing. I think anti-heroes can sometimes be more fun and morally complicated, so it might be more interesting, but I think it would really depend on the story I was in. Just because I'm I'm too squishy and soft-hearted to be an anti-hero. <laughs> I'm not cool enough, right? Like, I think to be an anti-hero, you have to be sort of badass, and I'm not. <laughs> If I was allowed any magical ability, I would probably choose that. And the ability I would choose is the ability to speak any language straight away. That's something I would really love to do. But it would be tempting to have a magical companion because then I could have a dragon. I'd rather get a magical pet companion. Yeah, I was always a fan of um, the Golden Compass growing up, uh, his dark materials. Maybe a cat, a talking cat. Definitely summon a demon. I did write Sorcery of Thorns after all. <laughs> I think I would rather summon a demon than fight a dragon. I think fighting a dragon sounds like a really bad idea, especially because I'm not particularly fit. I would much rather be alone forever with books. <laughs> as long as they were good books. That's the stipulation, they'd have to be really good books. I didn't even need to pause to think about that. I'm such an, an introvert, I think that being surrounded by people all the time would genuinely be very draining for me, even if I liked them. So alone with the books is fine. comfortable life. I am definitely the equivalent of like a hobbit from The Lord of the Rings. I love to read about adventures, but I don't like to go on adventures. Even though my characters go through some really tough stuff, I think I would rather have their adventures because they're exciting. Um, I My characters often get to do very cool things like ride dragons and uh, live in secret societies. So uh, yeah, I think I'd rather go through what they go through, even though it is tough and I would probably not survive for very long. I mean, not like dangerous adventures. I like to go on adventures like going to Prague, but not, you know, fighting a dragon or being in peril or anything like that. Can I answer neither of them? I, if I had to choose, I would choose Jacob. I mean, because I think I would have less of a chance of like dying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not heterosexual, so <laughs> probably neither of them. <laughs> but if I really, really had to pick, um, Probably Jacob, I think. I don't especially like either Edward or Jacob, but um, I don't think Jacob watched anyone sleep at night, so. Oh, I would rather be with Alice. I always thought Alice was gorgeous. <laughs> uh, the second, I'd rather spend time with my favorite one and only talk about the weather because I feel like you could talk about the weather in interesting ways, right? You could talk about like meteorological events. I mean, you could make it really nerdy and I think it would be a, a good conversation. That's a really tough question. I'm just trying to think of who my most annoying character is now because I don't, I usually don't create my characters to be deliberately annoying. So I think my least annoying character would probably be okay to spend the evening with. At the same time, I think I would still want to spend the night with my favorite character. Um, that's Warden from the Bone Season series. And I think I would be fine talking about the weather with him because he is still, I think he would still be fascinating to me. What is the most embarrassing truth about me? I think I'd have to tell my most embarrassing truth because no one would ever believe that the plots of my books are my life. I'm, I'm not particularly exciting, so I think my most embarrassing truth would probably not be that hard to share. I think it could be fun to try to convince people that I am secretly a clairvoyant or a dragon rider, so I guess I would rather do that. A Stark. I feel like that needs no explanation, really. I mean, Targaryens are, I, I wouldn't want to marry my brother and participate in lots of murders. <laughs> 
Oh, that's a difficult question because I would theoretically like to be a Targaryen, but then there's a possibility that I could be forced to marry my own brother. So that that's a pretty serious downside. So I think I would probably rather be a Stark for safety. And then I might get a direwolf as well. I think definitely my early drafts of my books because I haven't got that many early drafts. I've still got copies of a little dragon book I wrote when I was a kid and it's actually really cute. And even though my early drafts are embarrassing, my Google search history makes me sound like a murderer. Yeah, the Google search history of an author is messed up. It's always like, how do you get away with murder? If I stab someone, how long will it take them to die? How quickly will you die of blood loss if you receive an injury to your left arm. So um, yeah, let's maybe not make an exhibition about that. <laughs> I think I would rather play hide and seek. A war strategy would be quite fun and I have several characters who would really love to do that and for that reason I think it should be hide and seek because I would accidentally like uh, take over the world I think if it were like Silas or the Revenant. I find war strategy quite boring I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so it's something I find really difficult in my books to write war strategy because I don't really know how to do a battle and I normally have to look at actual historical battles in order to plan them so I think I would rather play hide and seek. Definitely only read, yeah. I would rather be able to write still because then at least I could write my own books to read. That's so mean! Oh, unicorn. <laughs> ah, I guess the last dragon because even though I wouldn't want to kill a dragon I feel like it would be a little less tragic than a unicorn. It'd just be really sad to kill a unicorn. I mean, it would also be sad to kill a dragon, but like, presumably the dragon would also be trying to kill me. So then it would be self-defense, right? Right? I'll tell myself that. <laughs> I think I would choose the window. <laughs> Oh, I'm climbing, I think. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know what questions he's going to ask me. If it's anything to do with maths, then I'm completely screwed. So I'd rather risk the climb. I don't know if I need to explain that one. <laughs> Although I do like toads, though. They're one of my favorite animals. Oh, I'd be such a coward in The Hunger Games. I would just hide the entire time until the capital flushed me out. Like, you would just find me in the hollow of a tree or something the entire time. So, yeah, I would definitely be one of the people who waits it out till the end. I would wait because I, I couldn't kill people. I would actually probably be one of the first people to die in a Hunger Games. Věděli jste, že nejdelší existující věta v knize je dlouhá přes 800 lidí, 800 slov? Najdete ji v bídnicích od Viktora Iga. A já nevím, jak vy, ale já bych usnula ještě před půlkou.